Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Myself, Priya Roshni, studying B.Sc. Honours Agriculture in A.C. and R.I. Kiligulam, is here to present on the topic, Exim Policy of India. Export-Import Policy of India is also known as Foreign Trade Policy. Now, what is foreign trade? Trade between two or more nations is called as foreign trade. Foreign trade transactions are classified under three categories, import trade, export trade and net export. Now, why does India need a foreign trade policy? It's because one of the most important phenomena in the post-war economic history has been the enormous expansion of the world trade. But India's trade grew poorly from 1950 to 1980 as compared with the world. In 1993, India ranked 33rd in the top exporting countries and 32nd in the top importing countries. Now, another question arises. Why do we need export? Export means trade across the potential borders of different nations. No nation is self-sufficient and had all the goods that is needs. This happens because of climatic variation and unequal distribution of natural resources. As a result, countries all over the world have become interdependent, which needs foreign trade. A developing country like India, with its fast-growing agricultural production, to keep face with the population, needs high import, and this can be sustained only with fast export growth. To meet oil import bills, export is unavoidable. Thus, it is evident that export promotion continues to be a major trust area for the government. Several measures have been undertaken in the past for improving export performance of the country. In India, government has come out from time to time with various policies on foreign trade to promote export, thereby increasing the foreign exchange reserve. These policies are termed as Exim Policy of India. In simple words, the foreign trade policy is essentially a set of guidelines for the import and export of goods and services. The Government of India, Ministry of Commerce and Industry announced new foreign trade policy on 27th August 2009 for the period 2009 to 2014. Earlier, this policy was known as Export-Import Policy. The Export-Import Policy or Foreign Trade Policy is updated every year on the 31st March and the modifications, improvements and new schemes became effective from April month of each year. The policy is notified for a period of 5 years. The main aim is not the mere earning of foreign exchange, but encouraging greater economic activity. The foreign trade policy of India is based on the following major objective as follows. To enable sustainable growth in export from India and import to India to boost the economy. To at least double the percentage share of global merchandise trade conducted within the next five years. To improve the balance of payment and trade. To act as an effective instrument of economic growth by creating employment opportunities for citizens. To provide for sustainable growth by giving access to essential raw materials for production and other components. To raise technological capacity for production and cost effectiveness of industries and services, thereby improving their competitive strength in comparison to other countries and to encourage the accomplishment of international accepted standards of quantity. To provide buyers or clients with high quality goods and services at globally competitive rates and quality. Creation of opportunities for engaging in good and ethical practices. Accelerating the economy from low level economic activities to high level economic activities by making it a globally oriented and vibrant economy, to derive maximum benefits from expanding the global market and seizing the best opportunity available, making policies that favor ease of doing business and e-governance, to allow the hassle-free transaction for both import and export, reducing the interference between the exporters and doctorate general of foreign trade by reducing the number of export documents, to allow import of technology and equipments which may help in achieving better international standard of quality and reduce the cost of production, establishing the advanced licensing system for import good needed for manufacturing various goods for import. An advanced license is issued by the Directorate General of Foreign Trade to allow duty free, free import and export. Now let us see about the major expectations from FTP. 
India aspires to be 5 trillion dollar economy by 2025. To achieve this dream, it needs to triple its exports and register a GDP growth rate of 8% or more in the next few years. The government on its part seems committed to seriously working towards its dream. On January 12, the Ministry of Commerce announced some of its plan for the new policy. These include district export hump that is the government will identify potential products and services in each district including agriculture and set up a direct export promotion panel and direct export action plans as a part of this initiative targeted at some small businesses and farmers the third expectation is correcting the imbalances in india's international trade processes it also spoke of creating efficient cost effective and adequate logistical and utilities infrastructure if ftp 2021 to 2026 delivers on the government's commitments and life up to industry's expectation india as a 5 trillion dollar economy is not a dream too far thank you